Have you been asked to calculate depreciation using the double declining balance depreciation method and you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you in this video how to easily do it. But first I want to say something wonderful is going to happen for you very soon. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In our example here, we're going to be calculating the depreciation for a piece of equipment owned by this fictional ABC Inc. Um, and the equipment cost $25,000. And it's going to have a useful life of five years and a salvage value of $5,000. The company uses double declining balance method of depreciation. And the problem is asking you to calculate the depreciation expense for the life of the equipment. So we're going to calculate that for each of the five years of the useful life of the equipment. We're going to calculate, we're going to figure out what the beginning book value is for the beginning of the year, the depreciation rate, the annual depreciation expense and the accumulated depreciation as well as the book value at the end of the year. If this is the type of problems that you um, need help with and want to see more of it, I appreciate the thumbs up. It really, really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, we've got um, some figures here. Let's figure out what we're going to calculate. Double declining balance method simply means that it's going to be, you figure out what the straight line percentage would be of depreciation. And because it's double declining balance, you need to calculate twice that amount. So twice the straight line depreciation rate. So if we've got a five year, five year is our useful life and we need to figure out what the rate is. Well, if we were to depreciate 100% of the item, and for right now, we're gonna ignore the salvage value. So 100% of the depreciation over five years is of course 20% per year. 100 divided by five is 20. So 100% divided by five is 20%. That's the straight line, that's the straight line percentage of depreciation each year. Using the straight line method, you just do 20% each year. We are using double declining balance, so we need to multiply that by two. So our rate is the 20% and we're gonna multiply it by two. So our depreciation rate we're gonna use is 40%. 40% is our double double declining balance method. And we calculate this by taking the beginning book value for the, the beginning of the year, and we're going to multiply it by the rate, in this case 40%, that will give us our annual depreciation expense. Now, the tip here is to ignore the salvage value when you determine the value in which the rate is applied. So when you're normally calculating depreciation in say the straight line method, you would take the book value and you would subtract out the salvage value and then apply depreciation to the balance. Here, we're not gonna ignore the salvage value when it comes to the depreciation expense, but when calculating the amount on which we're depreciating, we would then ignore that salvage value. So let's fill in our chart here so we can get all of this. The first part, we know our depreciation rate is 40%. 40% is, of course, double the straight line percent. So I can fill that in for each of these cells, 40% for each, because we're gonna use that at each point. Then we just need to start out with what's our book value at the, the beginning of the year. Well, we purchase it. In this case, we're gonna assume they purchased it on January 1st. If there's a difference in the dates, you'll just have to account for that. But let's do this straight up 
purchasing it on January 1st. And as I said, you ignore the salvage value. So our beginning book value is $25,000, which is, of course, the purchase price. Now I'm going to do these calculations and I'm going to use my BA2 plus calculator. Um, I like this for any kind of accounting or finance. And if you want something similar to this, I have some links down in the description. You can get something similar to it. And uh, so let's do our calculations. We're going to start out with our $25,000 and we're going to multiply it by 40%. And I've got a handy percentage key here. So I type in 40 and I hit the percent and that gives me a 40 and that gives me $10,000. So our depreciation expense on the first year is $10,000. And our accumulated depreciation on the first year, of course, is the same. It's $10,000 because that's the only depreciation that's occurred. Now we need to figure out what the book value is at the end of the year. Well, we started with 25,000 and we have depreciated 10,000. So I'm just going to take the 10,000. I'm going to change the sign to a negative and I'm going to add the original price, the 25,000 to that. And that gives me a book value at the end of the year of $15,000. That end of year book value gets transferred over here to the beginning value for year number two. At $15,000 as our beginning book value. We're going to do the same exercise again. I'm going to take the, the, the 15,000 and I'm going to multiply it by 40%. So it's times... And again, put in my 40% equals 6,000. So we put that in. That's our annual depreciation. The second year is $6,000. Our accumulated depreciation is going to be the annual depreciation added to the prior accumulated depreciation. So the 10,000 plus the 6,000, we now have 16,000 dollars of accumulated depreciation, which we know is a contra asset account. I've got some information about that in some prior videos. Uh, I'll link one of them up here for you. What is our book value at the end of the year? Well, there's two ways we can figure it. Number one, we can have the beginning value, which is the 25,000, and we can subtract out our accumulated depreciation to get the book value. Or in this case, since I have the $6,000 for this year sitting on the calculator already, I can just change the sign and add to it our beginning book value from the beginning of the year, which was, as you recall, 15,000. So I'm gonna add 15,000, and that gives me a ending year book value of $9,000. Just like we did before, the $9,000 gets transferred over to here the ending book value from last year becomes the next year's beginning book value. And we go through the same process again. I already have the 9,000 on there. I'm going to multiply it by 40%. So I multiply by 40% equals $3,600 is our accumulated depreciation for this year. Do you see what's happening here that the and annual depreciation is getting smaller and smaller each year because our beginning book value is reducing. So this is a type of depreciation that you might want to use in a tax strategy where you want to front load your depreciation. You will get a tax deduction perhaps on this annual depreciation expense. And if you want to front load those depreciation expenses so you can reduce your taxes, this might be a good method. So you've got the $3,600. We're going to add that to our 16,000 of accumulated depreciation up to this point, and that gives us 19,600. Let's find out what our end of year book value is. We started the year with 9,000 is our book value and we need to subtract out our depreciation expense of 3,600. And that gives us a new year-end book value of $5,400. And we take that and we transfer that over to the beginning book value, $5,400. And we have 40% again 
of that amount. So we're going to take the $5,400 and multiply it by 0.4, or I could have put in the percentage, but I just saved a step by doing that. And we have a cumulated depreciation, or we have a depreciation expense of $2,160. Now, here's the problem. We can only depreciate it to 5,000 because I had a $5,000 salvage value. Now that's kind of a high salvage value. And if let's say for right now, let's say that salvage value was only a thousand. So let's change the salvage value to a thousand because otherwise we'd be done with our depreciation. So let's, let's take it down to a salvage value of 1000. Maybe they've reevaluated the piece of equipment and um, the bookkeepers and the accountants have agreed that the new salvage value is $1,000. And so now we're going to continue on. So we have the $2,160 worth of, of depreciation expense. We're going to add that to our accumulated depreciation of the $19,600. And that gives us a, an accumulated depreciation of $21,760. And what is our book value at the end of the year? Well, if we started the year with $5,400 book value, and I subtract out the $2,160 as the um, depreciation expense for this year, that leaves me uh, ending year book value of $3,240. Again, that amount gets transferred back to the beginning of the next year, $3,240. And I, for the last year, I apply that, multiply it by 40%. And that gives me a depreci depreciation expense of $1,296. I take that $1,296 and I add it to the $21,760 that is the accumulated depreciation to give us our accumulated depreciation so far is 23,056. Let's figure out our end of year book value. We started the year with $3,240 and we subtract out the $1,296 as the book uh, the appreciation for the year the depreciation for the year and that leaves us a final book value of one thousand nine hundred and forty four dollars which is actually above the book value so our 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 above our salvage value so we actually um, didn't do a great job of estimating our salvage value and that happens sometimes if our salvage value was um, above this amount then we can only depreciate the amount up to the salvage value so that's all I have for you on this. If you would like to see some exclusive videos and where I get into some more detail on things, or you might want to uh, be able to communicate with me directly um, with a live chat and live interaction, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel and join it. I've got some membership levels that you can just go downstairs, go down to the uh, next to the subscribe button there's a join button you can go and for some low monthly uh, fees you can go ahead and get a higher level of interaction with me and get some advanced view of some videos and as i said there's some levels there where we can actually do some live chats together so until next time i hope you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video thank you